welcome learners our mba program marketing management students we are discussing uh, our unit on pricing after discussing the various uh, aspects of pricing this concept and the human psychology in pricing then after discussing the various uh, factors which influence pricing decisions external factors influencing pricing decisions internal factors influencing pricing decisions then discussing about the pricing objective and corresponding strategies uh, we are left with two other learning objectives of this unit so in this small video we shall take up those two learning objectives and these two learning objectives are we have to be clear about what is market scheming and what is penetration pricing scheming pricing and penetration pricing these are two concepts we need to be familiar with then we shall try to understand the relevance or the importance of price adjustments because pricing is something that which is set for once and then we shall forget about this it's not like that we shall have to continually modify the prices we shall have to continually adjust our prices so market scheming pricing market penetration pricing and then price adjustment strategies these are the three aspects which we shall try to understand in this small video and these are based on your self learning material so there can be two strategies that mostly a firm can make using pricing as a weapon one is market scheming pricing the other one is market penetration pricing we shall have to be thorough with these two definitions although two concepts and the related intricacies market scheming pricing first what is market scheming pricing as the word scheming indicates this strategy literally schemes the market the market has to be schemed in a past instance to high price price is uh, suppose sony high definition television when it was first launched it was set at a very very high price later on the price got reduced likewise most of the color televisions mobile phones the introductory stage because the product development cost is very high new product Further research and development will be required. More and more sales will come. That will help in reducing the price. But for the new product, R&D is high, risk is high, so the marketers will be interested in skipping the benefits. So they will set a very high price. So, so as I have given the example, so it's only high definition television. They set a very high price, and subsequently settle thus for a lower price, and because you all know product goes three stages: stages, introduction, growth, maturity, decline. So market scheming attains or say aims at say high price and high profits at the introduction stage of its product life cycle. It profitably taps the opportunity. It's normally not targeted for all the customers in the market. It's mostly targeted for those customers who would like to experiment with a new product. They are also basically innovators, the customers, and this particular segment will have that psychological propensity to try with a new product at a high price and they would like to have that experience and would like to demonstrate that experience to others so to that extent they are innovators and this strategy is useful in pricing of new products that have a luxury or specialty element like say sony high definition television or say very high end mobile handset like that so when the new product is in a luxury form, fashion products, design related products, these are some of the examples in which we can think of market scheming. So here, the enjoying the patronage of an affluent or say that kind of price incentive, insensitive uh, segment of consumers, they are not much bothered about price, high price. They are much bothered. They are basically concerned about the functional utility of the product or it's the novelty of the product newness of the product, innovative value of the product and in this case the scheming strategy is successful. So this market scheming strategy uh, is applicable or say makes sense only under certain conditions. The product quality and image must support its higher price. All the products will not support higher price, it's not it. Say high end television, definition television or say mobile handset or some design products that will support high price and there should be there may not be enough buyers but there should be a sizable number of buyers who would be able to sustain this high price otherwise 
it will the economies of scale will not take place or that there is a basic economic conditions will not be met so the cost of producing a smaller volume cannot be so high that high can, uh, that they cancel the advantage of charging more so small segment of consumers you can charge more that advantage has to be there finally the competitors should not be able to enter the market easily and undercut the high price because we are the first mover we are the innovator so we have set the high price so that should deter the competitors to make an easy entry in the market and charge a high price from the market so that that advantage we should ensure of then let us discuss penetration pricing so market skimming is basically at the introduction level with some kinds of products where we can afford to set high price but at that high price should commensurate with the product quality and product benefits to a specific group of customers who are basically interested in making use of innovation after that concept let us discuss what is market penetration pricing penetration pricing means penetrate more and more into the market so have more and more share from the market so in order to penetrate more and more into the market so basically we set a low price so that we can penetrate more and more so it is the opposite of skimming pricing skimming pricing is all about high prices so it is about low prices skimming pricing which is specific group of customers penetration pricing wider range of customers so this strategy is useful in pricing of new products under certain circumstances so when a new product is capable of bringing in a large volume of sales we are capable of large volume of sales we can expect to have large volume of sales not those high definition television suppose say acceptable range of television features and then making a product available so in that case we can think about and then it's not only for the affluent or those innovative uh, savvy customers it's for say kind of a larger market in that case we can go for penetration pricing good quality not of very high quality acceptable quality price is acceptable in that case we can go for penetration pricing so for this penetration pricing also several conditions must be present one is market must be highly price sensitive because if you charge high market will withdraw if you charge low market will develop a low inferior quality perception of the product but the product also has to be of acceptable quality and production distribution cost should be supportive of this pricing strategy otherwise sales volume will not increase and if the sales volume doesn't increase in that case the pricing will not give the desired results and this low price should be able to keep competition out to the extent possible so there should be some kind of barrier for the competition with this acceptable quality price and then wider distribution larger production and that is the basic aspects basic uh, strategy of having penetration pricing then skimming pricing penetration pricing let us discuss the other learning objective about the price adjustment strategies as i have told you pricing is not something that this is determined for once only and then we forget about this pricing will be a continuous process and in the market there will be a number of players as we have discussed the internal conditions external conditions lots of interplays will be there competitive process will come in so we may be required to make a lot of adjustment as far as our pricing decisions are concerned if the competitors increase price how should we respond if the competitors lower the price how should we respond if suppose we are going for a new advertisement or say addition of a new product new product features so what should be its corresponding effect as far the pricing is concerned so it requires lots of uh, adjustment so setting the base price for a product is only the start that is the starting point setting the base price but that will have to be continually since so the company must then adjust the price of just uh, uh, price to adjust for customer and uh, then adjust the price and adjust the customer and situational the market uh, environment related factors so some of the adjustment strategies could be segmented pricing segmented pricing that no two segment no two products will be priced similarly so segment wise low price segment high price segment medium price segment premium category like that segment wise we can think about pricing we can think about discount and allowance pricing suppose those who pay early so the for prompt payment we may think about giving a discount for late payment we can give you early bird discount these are also pricing related aspects allowance for 
prompt process, letter process, or say installment process. These are defined aspects. Psychological pricing, we can play with the consumer psychology as we have discussed. If the consumers are not that price sensitive and we are maintaining, we are improving on product quality, we can think about giving a high quality product at a high price. So we, there could be hyper premium pricing also. The very, very high quality product at a very, very high price. There could be promotional pricing. Suppose buy one, get two free, buy two, get 10% discount free. There could be promotional pricing. There could be geographical pricing. Suppose for our northeastern region, many of the products you might see in the packaging that for this states the price is this much. For the northeastern states the price is this much. That is the geographical aspect because transportation cost is there and the company will consider all those things. And in the MRP only they will state it. For northeastern region this is the price. For the other states this is the price. Something like that. And in today's context, dynamic pricing, suppose the airline ticketing, the price keeps on varying, isn't it? Suppose you want to from Guwahati to Kolkata and you purchase the ticket at this point of time, say it is say 3,000 rupees, tomorrow you just, you can sell the ticket and tomorrow suppose you go for uh, availing another airship, so the price could be 3,500 or it could be 2,800 also, who knows? This is the dynamic pricing because the computers adjust, they offer the seats in blocks and ultimately, lot many aspects are there which will uh, determine the dynamic prices of different products. So in today's context, many of the cases we are experiencing dynamic pricing. Or it could be international pricing. Suppose so far we have been marketing only in our country, India. Suppose we decide that we shall be making an entry to the Bangladesh. So our Indian price will not be the same price for Bangladesh products, for the Bangladesh market. So our pricing, if when we decide to go abroad, when we do we decide to go beyond our own country, country of origin, so in that case also we shall have to make adjustments to our pricing decisions. So these are the various aspects which we have to consider as far as adjustment of pricing is concerned. So dear learners, please read your SLM and hope you will be able to understand the basic intricacies of pricing which is very very important for any student of learning. Thank you very much.